Hello, welcome to your Navina Flow. So today we are going to be using a couple of blocks. Uh, if you don't have them, don't worry about it. It's easily modifiable. But if you do have some great, and if you have other things that will allow you to get a little more comfortable, then that's even better. Um, I do recommend we're going to start seated today. So I recommend sitting up on a block and giving your hips a little bit of relief and your spine a little bit more length. And then, yeah, just getting really comfortable. So, you know minimize the distractions let's really anchor in for the 60 minutes that's just for you i'm really happy that you're here and we're going to try to twist and rinse everything out today and hopefully leave you feeling your absolute best as you get on your way so clear out everything this is your time let's close the eyes and then let's just roll through the shoulders a couple of times Do one more this direction and then start to go the other way. And then allow them to relax down, arms are straight. You can even bring the thumb and the index finger to gently touch and just take a moment to just really breathe into the space that you're in. Noticing what that feels like for you today. How long it's taking you to breathe in. How long it takes you to breathe out. And then just creating a little bit of consistency between the two. Feel the front side of your body fill up just as much as the back side. Feel the left side of your body filling up just as much as the right. for a few more breaths, putting it all together. Creating this really intentional three-dimensional breath. Starting to wake up into this conscious space. Doing your best to stay in this space for the next 60 minutes so that we don't let our mind automatically default to heaviness or busyness or even being hard on ourselves. But we continue to anchor in with that breath in a way that keeps us locked into a creative and expansive state. One more breath here. As you inhale, opening up the eyes, you'll take your time, shift the weight forward, and then we'll go ahead and move that block. And I'm gonna get you to bring your blocks to the top of the mat at that lowest setting. And then we'll come into a tabletop position here. So now from this position, you're gonna just come onto table and, and wiggle around a little bit. As always, I like to give you a little freedom to just do just that. Find freedom in your body. Notice where you need a little bit of extra space, a little extra love, a little extra breath and attention. And then on your next inhale, you're going to bring your big toes together and then bring the knees wide, bring the hands on top of the blocks and we're going to exhale, come back into a child's pose. And so palms pressing, giving you just a little bit more height, a little bit more length through the front side of the body. And then you can kind of sway your body a little bit side to side. And then allow that upper back to soften a little bit more. 
And just feel that nice deep stretch running through not just the back and sides of the body, but the front side of the body with that little extra height of the hands. Give yourself one more deep breath here. And then as you inhale, we'll slowly take our time and lift the hips up. So palms are gonna come right underneath your shoulders. You're gonna bring your knees and feet back to a hips width apart. Take your right toes out to the right, coming into a half version of our child's pose. So we'll move the blocks out of the way, find the tips of your fingers, lengthen the heart forward, and tuck your left toes. Exhale, we're gonna slowly shift that weight back. And then we're gonna inhale, slowly bring it forward. Open the chest, exhale, shifting the weight back. Inhale, slowly come forward. Let's do that one more time. This time we're gonna hang on and leave the hips heavy behind and breathe into all of the feels. Letting that upper back soften. And then just giving yourself two more deep, full breaths of air here. On your next inhale, we're gonna slowly take our time and then inch to come forward. Now, what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna just bend into your right knee. You're gonna scoop that right foot on the outer edge and slide down and then rest fully onto that hip. Take your time, find your forearms, and then you're just gonna let the head get heavy here. So as you find this relaxed position, it should feel that way. It should feel really nice into the back body, a nice little twist into the back. And then you just breathe here. As you inhale, feel just a little bit of lengthening through your spine. And as you exhale, just try to relax a little bit more as you melt into the floor. Two more breaths. And one more here. On your next inhale, we're gonna slowly take your time and then press through your palms. Now you're gonna tuck your left toes, slide that right foot back and bring the knees down. Let the hips get heavy just for a breath. Feel the difference between the left and right side of your body. And then we'll inhale, slowly come forward. Now extending the left leg out to the side. So toes are gonna face forward. You're gonna tuck your right toes underneath, find the tips of the fingers, and then as you exhale, bringing the weight back. Inhale, slowly take your time, coming forward, opening the heart. Exhale, and then slowly shift the weight back. One more time, inhale, opening up. Exhale, and then we shift and hold the way back. Breathing deeply here. Noticing if that outer edge of the left foot is picking up, like really press it down. Feel that little extra space you create through the inner hip and through the inner thigh. Take one more breath here. Could you get a little heavier? And then we're gonna inhale slowly, take your time, come forward, untuck your right toes, and then you'll take your left foot and slide it out to the left, hip comes down, and then you'll take your forearms onto the ground. So then lengthening the heart forward, and then just relaxing into this. Breathing deeply here. Just softening along the way. Two more breaths. And 
then on your next inhale, slowly taking your time, pressing through those palms, tucking your right toes. This time we're gonna float back into a downward facing dog. So pedal out your feet a couple of times, wiggle out the hips a little bit, and then really be dramatic in the way that you sway the hips. So I want you to get a really nice side body stretch as you do this. So not just about the legs and the spine, really feel the sides of the body opening up. And then start to settle in and soften your knees just a little bit more than you need. Get that drippy quality going on in your upper back. And let's just take two deep breaths here. One more like this. And then on your next inhale, bending into the knees, gazing forward, you can step or practice hopping the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift the head and the chest, hands can come to shins. Exhale, folding forward, soft little bend in the knees, arms are gonna reach high, nice big breath in. Exhale, you're gonna flow right back down. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, planting your palms, stepping back into your high plank position. Now, holding that high plank, we're gonna lengthen the heart forward. You're gonna drop the knees down, untuck the toes, and we're gonna work from here. So we're gonna inhale, lower down to a hover. Exhale, press it back up. And again, inhale, lower down to a hover. Elbows hug in. Exhale, press back up. Three more. Inhale, lowering down. Exhale, pressing back up. And two. Making sure that head is staying in line with the spine. Press back up. Now let the hips come back. Try not to move the hands. Just take a nice big deep inhale. Big exhale. And then let's inhale, slowly come forward. Option two is to tuck the toes, go for that full plank position, or just keep the knees down. We're gonna inhale, lower down. Exhale, press back up. And again, inhale, lower down. Keep the weight in the palms balanced. Exhale, press back up. Just one more. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, press back up, hold it, and then lower down to a count of three, two, and one. Now bring your hands a little bit wider than your mat, so the thumbs can touch the mat. We're gonna inhale here, peel the head and shoulders up, keep the ribs hugging in, and then see if you can press into your palms coming a little bit higher. Exhale, slowly lowering back down. Inhale, peeling yourself up. This time, exhale, drop your right shoulder down. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, peeling up. This time, the left shoulder drops down. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, lower down. Now just one more time in the center. We're gonna inhale, peel up, and hold here. So making sure that we're not sinking into anything, you're pressing and lifting, hugging everything into that midline. One more breath. And then slowly taking your time, coming back down. Now with the same strength we've just built up, inhale here from the knees, Press up, hold the top of that plank. Tuck the toes and come into your downward facing dog. Take a nice big deep breath in. And a really big breath out. One more time, inhale. And exhale it out. Now on your next inhale, you're gonna take your right leg and lift it up to the sky. Take a nice big deep breath in. You're gonna step your right foot behind your hands, so not as deep as you can go. Walk your hands on either side of your right foot. Lean the weight forward so that you can lift your left foot, pivot the left foot, and then inhale, lengthen the heart forward. 
As you exhale, start to fold forward. Now you might find that you wanna use your blocks here perfectly fine. If you feel like you have to bend your right knee a lot, I encourage you to do so. I want you to press into your palms as we find that nice length in our pyramid pose. Push that right hip up and back and then breathe deeply here. Every inhale lengthening a little bit more. Scooping that belly button away from your thigh. And then sliding and holding that thigh, lifting it a little higher. One more deep full breath. Then you're gonna inhale, lengthen the heart forward. So now you're gonna walk your hands forward, pick the back heel high, and then drop the back knee down. Slowly come up. So I want you to be in a 90-90 lunge, so it's a shorter stance than we're used to. Untuck your left toes, and then you're gonna hug the ribs in, belly button to spine. Left hand's gonna grab the outside of your right knee. Now push the right hip down, scoop the belly button in, and then from that position, you're gonna reach that right arm to the back wall. Now inhale, lift a little bit taller. Exhale, twisting just a little bit more. Now naturally your body's gonna sway, right? So you wanna keep hugging in and actively reaching from here. One more breath. And then slowly taking your time, you're gonna bring your hands to frame that right foot again, tucking the left toes, straightening the back leg, and then getting into that deep lunge. Inhale here, sweeping the arms up. Nice big deep breath in. Now slide your shoulders down your back. And then I want you to reach your arms straight forward, hug the ribs in, and then start to reach the right arm to the back wall. Now inhale, lift a little taller as you dig into the left toes. Hug the ribs in and reach a little further with that right arm. Inhale, lift a little more. And twist a little bit deeper. One more breath. And then we're gonna slowly bring both arms to reach forward. Bring your arms in line with your ears as you shift the weight forward without dumping the weight into your right foot. Breathing here for three. So arms are really strong. Shoulders are down your back for two. Sink just a little bit more. And then we're gonna slowly take the hands down to the ground. Inhale here, right leg floats back into your high plank. Exhale, lower slow. Inhale, opening up into that back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a nice big deep breath in. Big breath out. One more time, inhale. And then once you've exhaled out all the air, you're gonna lift that left leg up to the sky. Nice big breath in. Step your left foot just behind the hands. Now, not going where you think just yet. Inhale here. Bring your hands to your heart and come back to that exalted position. Inhale here, press through your palms, hugging the ribs. Take one more breath. And then you're gonna lift that right leg up and through. Right hand to the hip, left hand to the outside of the knee. So hug the ribs in, and then from there, you're gonna open the right shoulder. Right arm's gonna reach to the right. We're gonna lift a little taller as you breathe in. And then exhale. Start to look back. As wobbly as it may get, just anchor into that midline. Continue to breathe. And remember, we've set that intention to consciously create that expandable state. Take one more breath. And then you're gonna inhale, slowly take your time, bring your hands to your heart. Take an inhale here, exhale, slowly extend that right leg, and then we'll slowly flow that out. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky, big deep breath in. Exhale, fold forward, let your upper body go. 
Inhale, hands to shins as you lengthen your heart forward. Exhale, planting your palms, stepping back to your high plank position. Breathe in. Exhale, lower slow. Inhale, opening up. And exhale, pressing back into that downward facing dog. So let's take a nice big deep breath in. Really big breath out. One more here. Good, so now left leg lifts up to the sky. Nice big breath in. And then you're gonna step your left foot behind your hand. So again, you have the invitation to grab your blocks here if that floor feels a little too far away. Now, lift the back leg, pivot the back heel, and then inhale here, lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, start to fold forward. And so we just breathe deeply here. Every inhale, push that left hip up a little higher. Try to draw that right hip forward a little bit more. And then from that position, breathe here. Two more breaths. Close attention, don't let that left hip pop forward. Breathe as you push it up and back. One more here. And then you're gonna inhale, slowly lengthen the heart forward. So bend the left knee, drop the right knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, so you should be pretty set up for that stance, but make sure your left knee stacks, right hip stacks over the knee, and then right hand's gonna reach across. So just gently push that left hip down, hug the ribs in, and then we'll start to open into that twist. Left arm's gonna reach out. And we're breathing here. So every inhale, lift a little taller. As you exhale, open just a little more. Inhale, lifting a little more. Reach out, one more big breath. And then you're gonna slowly take your time from this position, frame your left foot. You tuck your right toes, wiggle it back or walk the left foot forward. Inhale here, arms are gonna sweep up to the sky. So slide deeply into that left thigh, resist with your right leg, and then reach those arms straight forward. Shoulders are down your back, left arm's gonna reach to the back wall, and then we're gonna breathe deeply here. With every inhale, grow a little bit taller. See if you can open a little bit more. Slide a little bit deeper. We have two more breaths. One more here. And then slowly coming forward. Now working into that exalted warrior, arms reaching, shoulders down. Sink just a little bit more. One more breath. Slowly take your time, bring your hands down to the ground. Float that left leg back. Inhale here, heart forward. Exhale, we lower slow. Inhale, pressing away. Exhale, downward facing dog. So let's reset, shall we? Take a nice big deep breath in. Let it be a clearing breath out. And then on your inhale, let's take that right leg up towards the sky. Nice big breath. Stepping the right foot behind your hands. Hands come to the hips. Lengthen the spine and then bring the hands to your heart. Big breath in. And then from that position, now we lift the left leg. So you really gotta build strength into that hip through that transition. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. Open it up, and then left arm's gonna reach to the back. Drop that left hip down, lift out of the waist a little more, and then trust yourself. Just look to that left thumb. Again, it's the wobbly moments that we really have the opportunity to practice. Hugging in. Not defaulting into that heavy state. Consciously choosing to expand. One more breath. Doesn't mean you won't fall. 
Come back to the center. Inhale here, hands to your heart. Exhale, kicking forward. And then we'll slowly go through a full flow. Arms reach up to the sky. Big, beautiful breath. Exhale, fold forward, letting that upper body go. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen the heart. Exhale, planting the palms. You're gonna step back into that high plank. Breathe in. Exhale, lower slow. Inhale, opening up. And then exhale, coming into your downward facing dog. Three breaths. Notice, what are you holding on to? Can your shoulders relax a little bit more? Does your neck need a little encouragement to truly let go? One more breath. On your next inhale, lifting your heels high, bending into the knees, gazing forward. You can step or hop your feet to the top. Breathe in as you lengthen your heart forward. Exhale, and then we'll fold. So soft bend into the knees. Inhale, arms are gonna reach up towards the sky. You're gonna take your hands, interlock the fingers, and then release the index. Draw your shoulders down. We're gonna lift up and over to the right side. Now breathing into that left side, and then just lifting a little bit more. As you exhale, going a little bit deeper, but not so much that your left arm starts to come forward. You're gonna keep that in line with the left side of your body. One more breath. Inhale here, slowly coming all the way up. Now as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart, pop the left heel high, and then we're just gonna lift that left leg up. Now from here, as you exhale, you're gonna kick that left leg straight forward, and then from that position, cross over. Inhale here, arms are gonna reach up to the sky. Nice big breath. And then exhale, fold forward. Let your head be heavy. So now we're breathing a little more into that right hip, right IT bend. Pull that right hip forward and then just relax the upper body as much as you can. Soften your shoulders. And breathe. For three. For two. One more breath. Soft bend into the knees. We're gonna inhale, slowly come up. Arms are gonna reach up to the sky. Nice, big, deep breath in. Keep them shoulder width as you step your left foot to meet the right. Inhale, exhale, sink nice and low into that chair pose now. So as you inhale, take a look down, make sure you can see your toes. Squeeze the knees together and then just sink the hips a little bit lower. Arms continue to reach as the shoulders soften down your back. Breathing deeply here for three. Two. Good, one more breath. And then inhale. Now, with that strength you've built up in the legs, keep it. Interlock the fingers, opposite finger in front as you release the index. Exhale, and hinge to the left. So we breathe. And again, you're pressing into those feet, engaging those legs a little more as you lift out of the floor. And you hinge a little bit deeper. Let those shoulders melt down your back. Breathing here. One more breath. On your next inhale, slowly coming all the way up. Separate those arms, big breath in. Hands come to your heart as you pop the right heel high. Exhale, we're gonna kick that right leg straight forward without leaning back. Cross that right leg, inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Let that whole upper body melt. 
and just breathe deeply here. Really relax the shoulders again. You've got to make that conscious effort. So much of what we do comes from this like unconscious state, this state of automation. And unfortunately, if we're not paying attention, our shoulders are just so trained to be up and forward. So we've really got to work with that. Two more breaths. One more here. And then just take a soft bend into the knees. We're gonna inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Nice big breath. And then keep those arms reaching, step the feet together, exhale, sink back down into that chair. Now this time I'm gonna invite you to pop your heels up really nice and high. See if you can sink a little bit lower here for three. Actively reach through the arms, shoulders stay melting too. Could you go a little bit lower with me here? And then on your next exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen the heart forward. Now exhale, plant your palms. I want you to grab your blocks, bring them close, and then we'll plant the palm on the inside. Take a nice big deep breath in here, heart forward, exhale, lower slow. Inhale, pressing away, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Take a nice big deep breath in. Now on your next breath, what I want you to do is take your right leg, lift it up towards the sky. Inhale here, and then let's step the right foot in between the palms. Now grab your blocks. And then from that position, what I want you to do is inhale, heart forward. Now you're gonna walk yourself back or shift the weight back, I should say, and lift your right foot. Now, so the blocks are really helpful here because then you can actively push away from the floor, taking that pressure off. Scoop your belly button to your spine. Breathe here. For three. For two. One more breath. And then on your inhale, you're gonna bend into the right knee. Now bring your hands to your heart, take a breath. This time we're gonna twist it to the right. Left elbow hooks the outside of that right knee. Now press your palms, hug the ribs in, and then start to open your chest. Breathe here. And then maybe, just maybe, you even open those arms up. Right arm reaches, left elbow hooks. Breathe here for three. Two. One more breath. And then you're gonna slowly bring your hands back to your heart, pause in the center, and take your hands back down to the blocks. Now step your left foot forward and pivot the back heel. And then this time you're gonna walk your right foot awkwardly in front of the left. You're gonna push that hip up and back. And then you're gonna walk your blocks over to the right side. So you should feel quite the sensation running down the side of your right leg, breathing into that. For three. Two. One more breath. And then inhale, slowly taking your time. We're gonna walk the blocks back towards the top of the mat. Walk your right foot back in line with your right hip. And then when you're there, you're just gonna pop your back heel, take the blocks off to the side. Plant your palms in front of your right foot. Inhale, so we should be ready for that plank. Float the right leg back, high plank. Exhale, lower, slow. Inhale, opening up into that back bend. And then exhale, coming into that downward facing dock. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Now on your next inhale, left leg kicks up to the sky. Big breath. Step your left foot behind your hands. 
And then starting the same, hands to your heart like we did last balance, big breath in. You're gonna lift that right leg up and through. Now right hand's gonna come to the hip and then you're gonna do either option one, grabbing the outer edge of the knee, or now with some extra love into that right leg, we're gonna see could we add a little bit of an extension here into our twist. Now there's as much of a bend in the knee as you need to get the spine straight and then I want you to open your right arm up. Make sure you're not rounding that left shoulder forward. It's staying back. And as soon as you do that, you'll have to notice you've got a kick with the right leg. Now trust yourself to start to look towards your right thumb and breathe as you do. Shoulders melt. One more breath. Really good, come back to center, hands to the heart, inhale here, and then we'll slowly release. Arms reach up to the sky, big breath. Exhale, we'll fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen your heart forward, and then exhale, plant your palms, step back into your high plank. Breathe in, exhale, lower slow. Inhale, open up into that back bend. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Take a nice big deep breath in. And a big breath out. One more in. One more out. On your next inhale, left leg lifts up to the sky. Slowly step your left foot in between the palms, grabbing a hold of the block. You want them a little further behind, and then you're gonna straighten through that left leg. Press through those palms to take a bit of that pressure off, and just breathe with me. Again, don't sink into your hands. Push away, create that space. Two more, just notice throughout your practice how often we kind of default into that, you know, automatic state, not paying attention. Inhale here, bend into that left knee. And then from this position, we're gonna reach those arms, bring the hands to your heart, and then we'll actively twist, right elbow hooks the left knee. You're gonna open and expand, breathing deeply here. And then maybe those arms start to open up into that revolved crescent lunge. Breathe here. For three, two, one more breath. And then slowly bring your hands back to your heart. Nice and controlled, we'll bring the hands down to the block or not. And then you're gonna slowly walk your left foot now awkwardly in line with the right, right? So it's gonna get deeper into that IT band. Blocks are gonna walk their way now over to the left side of your mat. And then you're breathing through that left side. And just lengthen as you inhale. Fold a little more. Breathe a lot more. One more breath. And then slowly take your time. We'll frame that left foot again. And then walk your left foot back in line with your hip. Once you're there, move the blocks. Plant your palms forward with the heart, and then left leg lengthens back. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, rising up into that up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You reset. Take a breath. And then your right leg's gonna kick back up to the sky. Nice big breath in. Step your right foot behind your hands. Inhale here, hands to heart. And then building that strength as you lift that left leg up and through. Now left hand to the hip. 
right arm to the outer edge of the knee, or we reach down, grab the outer edge of the foot, and you start to add that full extension here. Drop your right shoulder, lift out of the spine. Left arm's gonna start to reach back. Breathing here. For three. Keep expanding with your breath. One more here. Slowly take your time, come back to the center. Place the foot down, well done. Inhale, arms reach up high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins as you lengthen the heart forward. Exhale, plant your palms, step back into your high plank. Breathe in. Exhale, lower, slow. Inhale, open up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath, you deserve it. Let it be clearing whatever you need. One more breath. Good, now coming into two more flows, we're gonna kick that right leg back up to the sky. You're gonna bend your right knee and kind of similar to how we started, you're gonna take the right foot out to the right, but keep it there and then pivot your left foot flat, inhale, left arm's gonna reach up to the sky. And then maybe just maybe you point through those right toes and lift the right leg up. If it feels impossible and your mind's like, eh, eh, not happening, slide that right foot closer to your mat and then try from there. And if it's still not there yet, say that. One more breath. And then slowly take your time, high plank. If you wanna play with hovering that right leg, go for it. Lower down. Inhale, pressing away, up dog. Exhale, pushing back through your down dog. Let this be your chance to clear out. Nice inhale. Big exhale out. And then on your inhale, left leg's gonna float up to the sky. Slowly step that left foot through. So you're only extending the leg as far as where you are right now with the hips. Then we'll pivot the right foot. So we're gonna tend to extend that leg too far and then the hip has to go, hence why it feels impossible to lift. So right arm reaches up, press away, and then see if it's there to lift that left leg. Keep breathing. One more breath. And then could you bend that left knee through without touching the ground? Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, open up. Now this time, tuck your toes, bend the elbows and come forward and then down. Really good job. Take your time, you're gonna bring your hands underneath your forehead and then you're just gonna rest for a moment here, just for a breath. Now when you inhale, lift the upper body and then see if you can lift the legs here. Now sweeping the arms back. And then I want you to just reach the arms forward, come into a hover. Inhale, everything flies back and up. Exhale, arms reach forward, hover. One more time, inhale, reach back. Breathing, holding this time for three. Lifting a little higher here for two. You can keep that neck long, keep that breath strong. One more here, up, up, up. And then hands come down, great job. Take a breath, slide your hands back by your floating ribs and then this is it. Last plank for today. So you can keep the knees together or tuck the toes and extend the legs, inhale here. We're pushing up slowly for three, two, holding it at the top, and then dropping the knees. Coming into your wide-legged child's pose, letting the forehead connect down with the ground. And then just kind of rock the hips a little bit side to side. 
take a breath. And then on our next inhale, we're gonna roll ourselves up, coming into a little bit of core strength. So with those blocks, you're gonna grab your blocks and bring them at their lowest setting. You're gonna take them by your side and then you're gonna squeeze your knees together. So we're gonna press through the palms. If you don't have blocks, it's okay. It's just gonna make this extra challenging. So just don't worry about the progression and how far you get into it. Just don't tell yourself your arms are long enough, okay? Breathe here. Inhale, scoop the belly button in, and then you're just gonna get lighter. So you're gonna push away from the floor or the blocks and see if you can feel yourself lifting out of it. Then see if you can lift your knees off the floor, scoop the ribs in, belly button to spine, and could you lift your feet for three? Keep breathing here for two. One more breath, and then slowly release, good. So now we're gonna add on just a teeny tiny bit, but first flip your hands, give those wrists a nice little stretch. One more breath. And then you're gonna slowly release. You can roll that out. So once again, hands down to the block. We're gonna do it one more time. So again, it doesn't matter. Even if you're pushing into the floor, you're working really hard, even though the legs aren't lifting. So don't worry about where you're at. Breathe where you're at. Inhale here, palms press. And then draw your shoulders down, ribs in. See if you can lift the knees, lift the feet. And then this time, see if you can lift them and pull the legs through. All right, don't say no, say not yet. Bend into the knees. So again, like I was talking about, right? Notice how often our mind just like immediately defaults into that no, not enough, right? That's what we're really here to, to disrupt. Take a big breath in, inhale. Tuck the tailbone, slowly lower yourself down one vertebra at a time. Breathe as you do it. And then we're gonna just hug the knees in towards the chest, taking a nice big deep breath in. <sighs> big breath out. Allowing yourself to just check in. And then I want you to keep your low back nice and long. Bring your hands to the back of the head as bring your feet now into a reverse tabletop position. We're gonna inhale, tuck the chin towards the chest. As you exhale, we're gonna lift the head. Now, hug the ribs to do that. You're gonna inhale, lower your right leg down towards the floor. Exhale, slowly lift that right leg up. This time, inhale, lengthen the right leg and add a twist, come back to center. And then we alternate, so left tap, left toes tap, exhale, bring it back up. Extend the left leg, twist to the right, nice and controlled, coming back to the center. Right toes tap. Exhale, slowly bringing it back to center. Right leg extends, we twist left, and slowly coming back to center. Left toes tap. Bring it back up. Left toes extend. And you come back to center. Couple more rounds. Right toes. And lift. So it's slow intentionally. I'm sure you can hear that little quiver in my voice. It is really challenging to work with these moves from intention instead of momentum. Inhale here, two more rounds. And lift and extend. Come back to center. Left leg, heel up. Left leg extends and back to center. Last round, right toes tap. Lift it up and extend. Ooh, back to center, last one. Left toes, come back and extend. Bring it back to center, lift your head just a little higher and then slowly release. Let's take the feet down. I want you to open the knees, close the eyes and dissolve the drama. Right, so you notice what comes up for you and when things get challenging, does your mind come into a heavy state? 
or an encouraging state. Notice it. Don't judge it, just be aware. And the next time that comes up, you can be a little more conscious as to how you can redirect that, right? One more breath. Good, now slowly bring the knees back to center. One more for your core, hands to the back of the head. This is it. We're gonna lengthen the low back, lifting one leg, followed by the next, but this time legs are gonna glue together. You're gonna inhale, tuck the chin towards the chest. Exhale, you're gonna peel your head up. So we're gonna inhale. You're gonna lower the legs down towards the floor, not touching them. Exhale, slowly lift the legs back up. This time, inhale, extend the legs so they won't go as low and bend the knees back in. And again, inhale, lowering the legs. Exhale, bend into the knees. Inhale, lengthen the legs. Exhale, bringing the knees back to center. Inhale, dipping the toes towards the floor, keeping the back long. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, lengthen the legs. Exhale, bend the knees. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Last set. Inhale, tap the toes towards the floor. Exhale, lift it back up. Lengthen those legs all the way out. Exhale, bend the knees, lift your head a little higher, and then release the head down. This time, take your feet wide, knees buckle in, and then arms can be wherever it feels good. Close your eyes. Once again, we notice the internal drama. And we just choose to let it go. Choose to not let it hold us down. One more breath. And then you're gonna slowly walk your feet back to a hips width apart. And then arms are gonna rest down by your side. You're gonna take a nice big deep breath in. And then you're gonna peel your hips up off of the mat. Rolling one shoulder and it's at a time, feeling that interlocking engaged arms to push down to create a little bit more space for you. And breathe. Now we're not gonna be here, or we're only gonna do this once, I should say. So if wheel is part of your practice and you wanna take that, now is your time. Press down, lift a little bit more. Just gonna stay here today. Take one more big, big breath. And then slowly release the hands. We'll lower the hips down. Now, grab a hold of one of your blocks and have it at its low setting as you just gently lift the hips. Slide that block underneath your sacrum and then from here, just gently lift your right leg. Interlock your fingers around your right shin and then rock the knee really gently side to side. Then allow yourself to settle and then from there you can walk your left foot forward. taking your left leg, planting your left foot flat. We'll release the right leg down to the ground. Just take a breath. And then left knee is gonna bend, interlocking the fingers around your left shin, relaxing both your shoulders, and then option is to straighten that right leg. Hold 
you take your time this time you can keep the right leg extended and then see if that feels good for you to do the same with the left and then maybe the arms even reach up and back in a goal pose just really allowing every part of you here for a moment to just breathe and let gravity do the work for you for once. One more breath. As you've exhaled out all the air, slowly bring your arms by your side. Bend into your knees. And then just take a pause there. As you press down through your feet, lift your hips up. And then you can move that block out of your way, hugging the knees into the chest and then just rocking a little bit, just side to side. And placing the feet down, you're going to grab those blocks. Let's just reach our arms out like a T just for a moment. Walk the feet a little wider and just let the knees drop to the left. With lots of twisting today, but let's just finish with a little release into the low back. Drop the knees to the right. Come back to the center. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Lift your head and then from there, just let your legs settle onto the blocks. Palms are gonna flip up and then you're just gonna close down the eyes. Even this action is so against what we're used to. Looking around, not wandering off. Just truly staying connected. For a moment, you just check in. How do you feel? Where did you go? Take one more big breath in. Slowly Wiggle through your fingers and your toes. By all means, if you need a little more time, please take it. Move the blocks out of your way and then legs forward. Arms are going to reach up and back. Get as long as you can. And then let's hug the knees into the chest. Soften your shoulders. And then place your feet down, curling over onto your side. Taking a breath. And then just push yourself all the way up. We'll sit up really nice and tall. And then from here, close the eyes, hands to your heart. And then you just take a second to acknowledge yourself for taking this time. Acknowledge your body for allowing you to move through this as you did. Just making this commitment to continuing to check in and really do your best to consciously go through the rest of your day. And most of what we do comes from that automatic state. Do your best to keep using your focus and concentration. 
nourishing your ability to breathe through anything that you go through. So thank you for joining me. Namaste. Have such a good day.